Make me a drink! Yeah! And my fossil to chromosome ratios clearly demonstrate that female dinosaurs, like this plesiosaurus, were the stronger and smarter of their species. But so what else is new? <laughs> After class, I'll be happy to demonstrate how boy dinosaurs got their butts kicked by girl dinosaurs on a regular basis. Excuse me, but the mandible crest of Cindy's alleged plesiosaur is actually that of a male megalosaur as defined by last week's World Congress of Paleontologists. Those findings were inconclusive and you know it, Neutron. Hello? Miss Fell, what is the standard for research on these extra credit reports? Um, yes, well, um... Let's move along to show and tell now, shall we? This is Ultra Lord. Sheen, this is the seventh week in a row you've shown Ultra Lord in class. Miss Fowl, this one is different. This purple vengeance version with power fist and nuclear knees is in rare, never been seen condition, making it highly collectible. Never been seen, huh? Well, then, how do you know it's even in there? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Jimmy, I see a frog. Oh, that looks great, Carl. Thanks. Uh, what are you trying? Hmm, fly cycle modifications for Goddard. Second prototype. Prototype, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, well, you know, that looks good, too. Thanks, Carl. Carl! Would you please share with us your show and tell? Oh, world? um, okay. This is my inhaler. It provides fast acting relief of bronchial swelling due to asthma or allergies. One touch of the button and. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Carl. All right. Next we have. Yes, Nick! You are a tad tardy a bit! Oh my, am I? Yeah, it took me a little while to copy my mom's handwriting for this late note. Uh, uh, <laughs> your show and tell, please. Let's go. You know, I don't really do show and tell. Oh, oh yes, that's right. Thank you, Nick! Oops. Did you drop this? Uh, yes. Well, I, um, my drop <laughs> pencil. <laughs> Jimmy, we eagerly await another one of your uh, interesting show and tells. As a matter of fact, I brought my latest invention. Behold, the shrink ray. What's the matter, Neutron? Aren't you short enough already? <laughs> Funny, Cindy. <laughs> but this device is more suited to shrink something as vast as space itself. Like, say, um, your mouth. <laughs> help me, help me. I'm so tiny. Just like Jimmy's brain. <laughs> so much for the Nobel Prize. So great. That's a job. Work this morning. Uh, I like your useless shrink ray, Jimmy. Oh, well, it's probably just a programming error. Oh, my! Oh, oh 